This is HorseRacingNation.com handicapper Jared Horak, and this is my video feature race of the week for Saturday, March 25th, 2017, the 10th race from Turf Turfway Park. It's going to be the Grade 3 Spiral Stakes. This is for three year olds, nine furlongs on the all weather surface. Now, I cover Santa Anita each day. I sell full cards at winninghorsepicks.com. And, and I cover Santa Anita, and a horse that I've been playing at Santa Anita that's been running well without winning is going to be my top choice, and that is going to be number two, Soglio. This one for trainer Graham Motion, a six to one morning line. Now, Graham Motion's just not having any luck at Santa Anita. They had all that rain earlier in the meet. Uh, his horses weren't able to run on the turf when he wanted them to, and, and then they missed workouts. And, and for whatever reason, he's just like, he's 0 for 19. His horses just aren't running of their races at Santa Anita Park. It's been a tough winter for him, but Soglio has been competitive there uh, for him. Uh, he broke his maiden on the turf course at Del Mar, putting blinkers on last December. That was a nice victory from off the pace from post 12, and he got some pace help in that one. But in his last two starts, he really hasn't gotten any pace help. The Eddie Logan stakes, uh, he rallied from seventh to finish second, just three quarters of a length behind the winner. And then in his last start against Optional Claiming Company, again, he got no pace help in a, in a six horse field. He was able to rally to finish third, beaten a length and a quarter. Now, if he can handle that synthetic footing and he gets a bit of pace help, he looks really interesting. He has a lot of ability and, if, and he can really, sh really shine, I think, if the combination of factors come into play where he gets the pace help, he, he gets a good clean trip from off the pace, and he's able to finish strongly. And I think that that could be the case today. Everything could fall into place under Trevor McCarthy, and he's six to one morning line. So he's going to be my top choice uh, in the Spiral Stakes 2017. Number nine, Parlor, is my second choice, and he's five to one morning line. He ran well in all three of his turf starts. Now he's going to try synthetic, and a lot of time of turf and synthetic, these horses can handle either footing, and we hope that's the case with him. He was first in his debut, second by a neck in his second start, and then he won his third start as well. Earned nice late pace ratings in all three of his outings, and look for him to try to get involved in the late going. Uh, Kitten's Cat, certainly one to consider. He's four to one morning line, he's your favorite. Uh, the only problem I have is the distance. Maybe nine furlongs is a bit too far. He won a downhill sprint at Santa Anita, six and a half furlongs. His other two wins were at one mile on turf, and both times that he tried his longest races so far at a mile and a sixteenth, he lost both. He finished third on yielding ground. Uh, that, was, um, that was last year uh, in, on, in his first start at a mile and a sixteenth on turf. And then last time at a mile and a sixteenth on firm turf at Gulfstream, stalked, took the lead, he was run down late. So now I think it's going to be that kind of trip today where he's going to stalk the pace. Maybe at some point he'll be in front, but then he's going to have to watch for those late runners because he could be getting a bit tired, a bit weary in the late going. Colonel Sampson will round out my top four, and he's 12 to 1 morning line coming in from Northern California. And he, uh, he won the Gold Rush Stakes at, at, um, at Golden Gate Fields on synthetic ground uh, earlier on, and, and that was a nice trip. He set a stalking trip. He won nicely. Then they put the blinkers on. He's been flattening out lately. So I think maybe if they take the blinkers off again like they are in here, if he can run that kind of race as he, like he did in the Gold Rush, he could hit the board. And here's how I suggest, suggest playing this race. We're going to make a $20 win wager on uh, number two Soglio. We're gonna play a $4 exacta box with number two Soglio and number nine Parlor. Then a $1 trifecta. We're gonna put Soglio and Parlor on top. And, and we're gonna put, um, we're gonna add Colonel Sampson uh, and we're gonna add uh, number eight, a uh, kitten's cat in there as well. So that $1 trifecta is two nine with two five eight nine with two five eight nine. The trifecta costs $12, the exacta box is eight, and then the $20 win wager. If you're interested in my full card analysis from Santa Anita Park, go over to winninghorsepicks.com. I sell full cards each day from Santa Anita Park. And if you're interested in more free picks, go over to horseracingnation.com, click on the plays of the day section. I post plays of the day for free seven days a week at horseracingnation.com. That'll wrap up this video. I'll be back next week with another stakes race from around the country.